As with anything in woodworking, there's a lot of ways to do frame and panel doors. I mean, there's special bits that you can buy if you like spending a lot of money. If you like doing them by hand, you can use a hand plane. That's what I'm going to try today. What I'm trying to say is sometimes it's just fun to get out the hand tools and try something different. Of course, in the old timey days, they had specialized hand planes that were cut in a profile so that you could have that special look to your raised panels. I'm just going to do it with a regular number four smoother. I've never done this before. I saw it done one time and it looked like a lot of fun. So we'll see how it works out. I don't remember exactly how I saw this done, but it seems to me the final thickness of the edge, which I marked with my marking gauge, is key. So I start each edge by planing a steep bevel up to that line. Then I lay it flat on the bench and I can start working it to the angle that I really want. I don't really hold a protractor up to this to try to guess what angle. I just go with the width of my plane and I get the first one done and now I'll try to match the other ones to that. One thing I do know is that you want to do the end grain portions of the panel first because it's pretty likely that you're going to tear out and if you do the end grain first then when you get that long grain on the other edges it'll clean it up. This would be a lot easier to do with a longer plane like this number six. It has a long toe which makes it easier to keep it flat on the board but not everybody has a short joiner like a number six so I'm sticking to the number four. I assume everybody's got this one. Some people call it long grain. Some people call it side grain. I don't know what you call it, but I love to plane it. This is where you get the nice curl. I'm telling you, when the blade is sharp and the curls are flowing, there is nothing in the world like hand planing. This is why we still come back to these old tools in a world full of power. Now this is my very first raised panel with a hand plane and my stock was kind of warped. But I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out. A little more work to even out the bevels, maybe some light sanding or scraping, and it's going to look pretty good. Now some people like the center portion of their panel to be raised proud of the bevels. To do that I would have cut some grooves with the table saw when I started out and then I'd get out one of my rabbit planes because this would cut right up to a line rather than having to have an even bevel from surface to surface. This is the way they would have done it in the old timey days. So the results are in and it was fun. I like doing it with a number four. If I only had one or two to do and I was doing a rustic piece, I think I would do it again. It is a workout though, but I figure after you do a few of them, you'll get used to it.